I'm making a sourdough butternut squash and cherry bread from a Sarah Owens cookbook. Here's a tip, I got this clamp which was designed to hold a paintbrush to a paint can but works perfectly to hold a cookbook open. And here's what the active starter looks like. Look closely and you can see some bubble activity. A scale is almost essential for making bread, it saves a lot of time. Lift the goopy sourdough starter out of its jar, weigh it according to the recipe and add water to form a slurry then some flour and stir. This is called a leaven and it might need to rise for eight to 10 hours. It's ready when you see it increased in size and bubbling. I'm mixing the squash puree in, adding more flour and the cherries, and then you need to be around for the next three hours, give or take, to turn and fold the dough every 30 minutes. After that, shape the dough, put it into a banneton and put it in the fridge for eight to 12 hours. Here's what it looks like out of the banneton and before it goes into a Dutch oven to cook. There's the beautiful finished product. Here's a great look at how Sarah Owens scores her bread. I haven't mastered that yet. So there's a very brief look at making sourdough bread, a process that rolls out over two days. I'm Kathy Renwald for thespec.com.